Hello viewers, welcome to the CAP RNF training. Be sure to subscribe to my channel as we proceed with today's topic. We will continue on our series on the NIST control families and today we'll be looking at the configuration management control. The configuration management control is one of the NIST risk management framework control families. The configuration management control focuses on the management of the baseline configuration and the inventories of an organizational information system. This includes the hardware, the software, the firmware, the documentation, and the processes of establishing and enforcing security configuration for the information technology products employed in an organizational information system. We'll be looking at some of the controls that falls under the configuration management control family. And we'll be looking at a CM2 control, which is the baseline configuration. Now, the CM2 control seeks to ensure that organization maintain and store a baseline configuration for their system. So, it seeks to ensure that every organization maintain a baseline configuration for their system. Now, what evidence can we use to support the implementation of this control, to support that this control is implemented? We can request for a copy of the operating system application or database baseline configuration to include the hardware, the software, the firmware, and any supporting documentation. Now we're we'll looking at the CM3, the CM3 control, which is the configuration change control. The configuration change control, you know, simply talk about how often, you know, is the baseline configuration reviewed and updated. What activities prompted the change in the baseline in the configuration baseline? It also you know, talks about what configuration change documentation you know, shows that the configuration baseline is evaluated prior to the component installation or upgrades or our and upgrades. What activities, what change documentation you know, shows or what change documentation is in place to support that the configuration is being evaluated the configuration baseline is being evaluated prior to component installation and upgrade. Now, what evidence can we use to support the implementation of this control? We can request for evidence supporting the configuration management process to include the completed change request or tickets, to include evidence that the change was tested prior to be migrated to production. We can also request for evidence that a change was approved, maybe by the change control board, the, the CCB. Maybe the change has gone through the CCB and the CCB has approved it. So we need evidence, you know, prior to the change being migrated to production. Now we'll be looking at the CM4 control. The CM4 control, which is the security impact analysis. Now, security impact analysis is conducted on any proposed or actual changes to an information system. Security impact analysis, I repeat, is conducted on any proposed or actual changes to an information system. Now, the security impact analysis you know, seeks to talks about the process. It talks about the process that is used to analyze potential security impacts, you know, prior to change implementation. The security impact analysis is used to determine what should be the impact to the information system, you know, should there be a change to the system. So it is being used to analyze the, the impact prior to the change being implemented. Now, what are the evidence that we can use to justify or to support the implementation of CM4 control, which is the security impact analysis? 
we can request for a completed and approved security impact analysis you know to show that the change was conducted you know to the baseline configuration or to the system so we can request for a security impact analysis that was conducted for a change you know for the baseline configuration or for the system note that these controls the controls that i've identified today are subject the evidence that you can request for the controls identified today are subject to change because the controls are implemented in a different way for each organization the control implementation statement differs from system to system so the evidence that you may request for you know is definitely definitely the evidence for each of these controls are much more than this you know i just you know hand pick some of the evidence just for the purpose of this training for the purpose of this video so the evidence are definitely much more than these these are just some part of the evidence and the evidence as i stated earlier you know could be different from your own list of evidence that you will request for based on how the control is being implemented on your on your information system or in your organization i hope this information is helpful be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you for watching